hey guys so on my last video that latest video 22 hours ago i have a comment from my member this uh, asking about six point light map in unreal engine so basically there are lots of ways to do it I, and i can make a long video but i just want to give you a short brief how you do that a quick video how quickly you set up and what is uh, six point uh, lighting actually and how you do that so basically if you have any 3d software like hoodney maya or if you are using ambergen for your fluid you have to lit your fluid uh, from different side uh, with different color so i'll show you how so let's say i'm not doing any uh, using any maya or Houdini. i'll just do it in inside the unreal engine and then i will use the same texture in unreal engine so let's say you have a niagara and in the fluid you have something like this or maybe this let's use this one and i'll open this and first thing i'll make the resolution low 100 okay and let it compile and second thing uh, let it compile first now shaders comply compile and you can see now so now emitter position i'll make zero and because my resolution let's decrease it maybe 500 uh, the space actually not resolution then i'll move this 250 so it will be into the center of in the z okay here then i'll add it some settings in the summary first thing uh, i will just disable the and let me just go to a simulation and i'll disable the temperature and also the buoyancy of temperature then we have this and it's going like this so in the force i will just turn off the turbulence actually it has two turbulence i will turn off one and i'll use this one so turbulence gain maybe around 50 frequency maybe 0 0.05 and yeah and in the source this is the particle sphere so i will make it one one so this is what we have in the force let's increase this maybe 200 okay and now in the simulation i will maybe a little bit of buoyancy not that much and increase the dissipation So basically you have this a fluid with some turbulence okay you can make any fancy fluid you want and i will just disable the buoyancy and the turbulence speed make the speed maybe five and let me save so yeah we have something okay cool and i don't want uh, this draw box that red box so cool i will drag it into the viewport make sure on the zero and then i'll just add a light directional light so it's visible now my fluid cool what i'll do with my directional light let's make this red and reset the rotation okay and then i'll just turn on my toolbars is a toolbars and turn on this 90 degree and then you can rotate like this so this light is from above right and then i'll duplicate this and first this error so i'll just type here forward and no need to do it in unreal you can use any other software then i'll make this green and just rotate it like left or maybe bottom let's use it for left then again i'll duplicate it 
and again I'll change this to two. this time blue and let's use it for the bottom okay so and for the right side you can also use a white light so if I duplicate it one more time and in this one I'll just use it light uh, white actually and rotate it this way cool so what I have to do now just fourth light in white although you can record it for your animation but i'll do that for just a uh, just a single frame okay let me select all the lights and oh yeah yeah okay and this fourth light if it is able this is how it looks so you have all the lights so first i'll disable for uh, let's play and at any frame that you like you can just pause and then this fourth light i will just make the fourth light zero so we have this rgb and i'll just take a you can take the screenshot from here or just press window and bring the screen your keyboard okay after that i will turn on this light and turn off all other light so we will have just this light and i'll again take a print screen so this method is not you have to follow to take the print screen you can just render it out through sequencer the whole sequence okay and or you can do any other you can use any other 3d software you like so i have print screens let me save this map also i'll open the photoshop and i'll go to my picture folder where my screenshots are so here's the screenshots so i'll just open this screenshot I'll copy and I'll go to the new and I'll paste and then I'll take the next image copy and paste and I know how much area I have to take so I'll just take this much of area and just crop this then this white part I'll copy and just paste it in the alpha and i don't need that then i can save it as a targa on the desktop mark and with alpha 32 bit right so this is how you will get your image with channels and now i will import that from the desktop I click make a material and let's make a new label this one which has a light also I don't need this and how you use that so I'll just do, show you a quick way basically it has channels and you have to link it with the light direction so there are ways so you can just find this light vector you have to take this one it has all the channels i mean directions you can like break or you can just mask like this so i'll break it i'll use this take a if channel if this is a red and i'll take the red and then I'm saying uh, and then multiply the same with the absolute value of this and then I will repeat this process 
basically if i just connect this one here let me show you and also yeah like this one and there you go so basically it's showing you one channel but if i rotate the light press l and rotate see this is linked with that light okay so now i'm doing it with now another channel green and then again this time i'll take the blue channel and we have also alpha that you can use but let's use three channels for now now you can add these together or you can just use the maximum of these you can use the max node okay and now if i just connect it here it will show you all three channels but when i rotate the light uh, let me just see this is gone now this is gone now this is up gone okay and this will also work in the viewport so if i just save it this is the very basic information this is how it works but there can be a loss of things you have to do to blend it properly but i'm not going into the details for now because i'm just making it short and simple so at least everyone can understand how this thing actually works if they have uh, like difficulties to understand so this is and we have the light this let's rotate this and if i rotate this light and uh, let me just turn this off see this rotation of light is also impacting your smog texture see so basically this is how you use your uh, channels actually and you, you uh, like you create this so the creation part is the same you will do in any other 3d software and i just use the four channel you can also use like different image for the like because we don't have anything for the front and the back so you can put a light for the front and also for the back for the rim and you can use that okay so this is how you do it i hope you like it thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye